Hello everyone and welcome back to Great Greed. Uh, I also, before I start, I also want to apologize just to say, you know, I apologize if you hear any drilling. There's actually some people outside drilling outside of my apartment right now. So I have, I mean, I haven't really been outside to look to see what's going on, but um, just a quick recap, just in case, you know, you kind of missed what was going on in the last part. Um, we're going to go now to Pipe Valley to go see Wrath Vader. Um, I've actually finished doing all my leveling. I leveled all the way up to level 21. So now we're on our way to, like I said before, Pipe Valley. Um, what you want to do if you want to level around here, I mean, if you want to get some, if you want to level up level 21, is uh, fight all the monsters around Cinnamon Village and just run inside and heal and then come back out, fight again, and then run it back inside and heal. And just keep repeating that same process over and over again. So once you get, once you go to the west, south and east you'll come across a sign read that sign and now you start to walk up the mountain pass to pipe valley now if you remember from my first video where i said that there is one area where you have to run from every single battle this is it what happens though is that you have to pass the trial of the mountain in order to get to pipe valley if you fight any of the monsters here or you attack any of the monsters here whatsoever then you'll start all the way back over from the beginning again you have to do the whole thing over again very annoying so we gonna so basically all the enemies is gonna be around here right now are these enemies called strainers and um one more enemy called, i think they call like yam doll yam dolls or yam does or whatever the heck they call those are like, I mean, it's like the only two enemies here, so you have to make sure to run from, I mean, that's a like Yam Bam, sorry, not Yam Dolls, Yam Bam, Strainer and Yam Bam. Now, you have to run away from every single battle, you can't fight any battle whatsoever. Now, there is a good reason and a bad reason why I say I hate this for. The good reason is, is because by the time you're level 21, the monsters around here are kind of weak, they kind of give all weak experience, not that bad. The bad thing about all this, though, is the fact that run doesn't automatically work 100% of the time. It's kind of like a a 20-80. I say 20% of the time it'll work. 80% of the time you're basically hit the start. You basically hit the start button every single time, and it'll basically say failed, 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 over and over and over and over again. So it's like really, 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 really annoying. So I mean, I mean the pathway is just straightforward. Just you know, once you go up a path, you'll start at the. I mean, you'll start going down. Then just follow the same path, going to the left, and then after a while, you should come up to um two guards. As long as you ain't fought, as long as you don't fight any of the enemies here, um they'll actually reward. I mean they'll actually give you a reward at the end of it. So we'll keep going around the path. Here, ever so slowly. Now, I also forgot to talk about Princess Truffle's um, special ability. Well, her special ability is is that she's able to scan the enemies for weakness. That's her special ability. And so basically, she'll kind of, I mean, I mean she'll kind of say, you know, scan enemy weakness found. It'll either say none or it'll say some kind of weakness. Now, sometimes I kind of found, I mean, sometimes I kind of found out that um, when she says um, there's a weakness found, most of the time, if you hit an enemy one time, their um, defenses drop for one turn. Kind of strange how that is, but nah. So we just keep going around. Now, once you get to the top, you talk to the guards here, and they actually give you 800 experience for passing the trial. So now we're able to enter Pipe. I mean, now we're able to enter Pipe Valley. So what you want to do is, is uh, once again, like every other town, you want to check the item shop, you want to check the um, weapon shop, check the magic shop, and make sure there's, there's never, there's not any spells or equipment you need. Now, in in this, I mean, in, in Pike Valley, there's actually a very useful um, spell here called Heal 2. If you use the Medicine 2s for items, if you still have those equipped, um, now you'll be able to get the heal twos, which heal for the, I believe, for like the exact same amount of hit points as the um, medicine twos do. I may be actually be wrong about that. Because like I said before, most of the time when I get the heal spells, I use those most of the time in fights. And I don't really use a lot of the, a lot of the, um, the other healing scrolls I need, I need to use, like the medicine twos. 
and everything else. I mean, the only other enemy I use besides that is another enemy called Fix, and that's it. So now we equip the Heal Two spell, and now we're able to finally say goodbye to Heal One. It was a great friend, Heal One was, but now it's time to wave goodbye to it. So now, I mean, so now that you bought all the equipment, and everything else you need, if you need to heal. There's the there's the end beside the magic scroll shop. Then let's go up and go inside the door. Keep going to keep going up and go to the only door you see here in the area. And then you want to talk to the old man in the center. And this is Ralph Vader. So he kind of says, "Hum, it's about biohaz, isn't it?" The purest thing in this world is Gatorade! I mean, power water! Sorry, so the power water springs out at the Crater Lake, which we're gonna, which we're gonna see in a minute. Go to it in a minute. So it says, first head towards Nutmeg Village, which is gonna be our next destination. Then head to Crater Lake. If you ask the gatekeeper at the village, Insurance. You can fly directly to the foothill. I see. Young one, fate calls you to fight with a fatal enemy. Be sure to I mean be sure you are careful. Yes, Lord Vader. I will be careful. Very careful. Thank you for thank you for um giving giving me wisdom in the force. Anyway, sorry about that. I didn't mean to make that joke up. So anyway, let's just go back. Let's just go leave the village. Now, you want to talk to the guard on the left side. He kind of said, do you want to go down to the south? Say yes, and then he'll send you to the lower part of... Now he's sending you to the other side of Pike Valley. To where you have to go to now, Nutmeg Village. So from this, so from I mean, so from when you left Pike Valley, just walk directly west, and you should come across a town. That town right there is Nutmeg Village. I actually walked right past it because I was sitting here going, "Where the heck is Nutmeg Village at? I don't remember." And so I actually walked to the sound. Now, if you went too far, you see a sign. Just read the sign. It says Critter Lake to the north. If you walk, to Critter Lake is actually the wrong way. Um, Nutmeg Village is actually north of Critter Lake. I mean, it's actually south of Critter Lake. So up ahead is Critter Lake. You want to go south from there. Once you enter Nutmeg Village, you start hearing a siren. This what happened was is the is that there is now a warning for toxic fog and now people hurry up and run inside of houses so they don't like breathe it in. And so this has been happening for a while. So to kind of make a long story short, because they kind of explain it, is that um one of Biohazard's people went in and infiltrated. I mean, went into um the Crater Lake and put something in the water and infect and like infected it right now so now it's like the power it's, it's like the power it's like the power water is still there but now that poison is now in the lake it's now like it's I mean now it's like there's poison in the lake and now when the wind blows it's blowing the poison the poison I call it steam or the poison air in Nutmeg Village that's why you kind of see a whole bunch of like areas like dead and the people like staying outside now also if you stay in Nutmeg Village too long and you hear the alarm go off and people run inside if you stay outside too long and the wind starts to blow and you start seeing the poison air you'll start to lose hit points as you stay on that side sorry if you see my chest squeaking again now you want to actually go to the Weapon and magic shops here. The magic shops, actually, the magic shop here actually carries a very useful spell, um, power. If you remember fighting Sarge back in chapter two, um, power does the exact same thing you think it's going to do. It decreases your attack power, so you're able to like hit, so you're able to like hit enemies a whole lot more harder than you could before, which is actually very useful. Um, in the weapon shop, it actually carries some better weapons because we're not going to get any more weapons for a while, even though we are going to another town. I know you're probably like, why are you going to another town? But you said, you know, it's best to go to another town to get weapons. Well, you'll find out in the next part why we can't get any weapons for. So, when, okay, so once you leave that person's house, he kind of says about, um, somebody walks up and says, you know, there's something going on in Hot Hot Village. So I guess they're getting hot, 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 or something. Sorry about making that joke up. I'm sorry. I didn't really meet. I'm sure I didn't make nobody laugh on that one. So, anyway, there's some kind of fest. There's some kind of festivities going on 
in 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 the hot hot village so now we're going to find out what is going on once we buy some equipment make sure we got everything make sure we equip everything make sure we got everything good to go and then we sell everything we need to sell off and then that'll be everything we need to do so next time on great grieve we're going to go to hot hot village and investigate and see what is going on there why does everybody you know why is you know why, is, why are people saying you know something interesting is going on in hot hot village we will find out next time this is Ryu here. I hope everybody's enjoying the game so far. Later.